the pineal gland is our interface or transducer that communicates directly with the electrons to create matter. So the pineal gland is really to understand that it's not just some atrophied organ in the brain that puts out a few chemicals that induce, you know, like melatonin or serotonin, uh, but that it actually is functional throughout our entire lives. In fact, it is so powerful that it was a classified subject. You have to ask yourself, why would an organ in the body be classified by the CIA, right? <laughs> you find out there all these studies were done in the 50s and 60s where they realized, oh my God, like it is the pineal gland to actually tie into other parts of the brain, like the hippocampus, for example, which is responsible for making, for memory processes and build and picture formation. So it's this tandem operation between reaching into hyperspace and seeing what's there and making it visual for us within the brain that gives us a very, very unique ability as human beings. There's kids that can read blindfolded, right? There are all these tests done, studies done on these special children that could actually operate without their senses. These things are basically telling us that we have these extrasensory abilities. Now, they're not in all of us. I mean, most of us have been adapting the programming that we've been subjected to our whole lives. So we don't believe we can do this. But these children, they just know it because they're just of another generation, right? And you have like, you know, people that can, they can electromagnetically move things, right? They can actually affect things through electromagnetism. And all that is, is, is a direct communication with those electrons that I've been talking about. That positive side of it is that all of this means that this is what's in store for us as human beings. And this is why these planners, cabal, whatever you want to call them, I, I prefer to just call them parasites, they're trying to do everything they can to block that functioning organ in our body through the, the three most powerful toxins to the pineal gland are aluminum fluoride and glyphosate. Guess what? They just happen to be the three most prevalent toxins in our environment around us right now. So you can see that this other side is desperate. They want to do whatever they can to shut us down from becoming what we're actually destined to become, which is to break that mold completely and move into what JJ Hurtok in the webinar calls homo universalis. That means a person who develops all faculties, you know, not just excels at one of them, but he excels at several, you know? So in our history, we've had people like that. We've had polymaths, like Socrates may have been the first one, Da Vinci. You hear about these people that they're mathematicians, they play a mean violin, they're super athletes. And this is what we actually have, all of us within us, within our DNA, it's all there. We're just not tuning into it. It's been stored in the electron. And it's there for all those children that we see. And Andrew Buhari, who discovered that the eight hertz transcends matter, he also discovered and began working with healers. And one thing he found is that all these healers and psychics, they all would go into a state between seven and eight hertz while they were doing whatever they do. And so this seems to be the key for us moving forward so that we're not just reporting on disasters and observing them and trying to avoid them, but that we're actually aware that we can tune into them, we can steer them, we can manifest them. In fact, we're such powerful creator beings that the fact that our pineal gland is tuning into hyperspace and bringing our information field that we define as our reality, and even if it is limited, it's still a miraculous thing, all these things around us, we are manifesting them so well that we've forgotten completely that we're doing it. It's on autopilot. The thing is, we can do so much more that we don't even realize. And the cool thing about Yuri Geller was he was famous in the 70s for being able to bend spoons. As soon as he went on television and became this instant success all around the world, guess what happened? All around the world, people began bending spoons. Hey, I can do this too, right? Wow, I can do this. So. What I'm saying here is that all of us, we really have to understand that we are creator gods and we have to know, not hope, not believe. We just have to know that we have these functions and those functions, that's what the new world is about. And that new world is the one that we want to manifest. That's that timeline we've been talking about. And that's the timeline the others are trying to block so desperately that they're using whatever they can. And in the material realm that we've manifested around us with its limitations, 
those particular beings have, of course, mastered certain elements of that which dominate this limited reality, which is monetary power, keeping us away from information and technologies like healing modalities, energy modalities. And the thing is, we have to call them on it. We have to know that we don't have to wait because really wait for what? Wait for them to manifest and manufacture the next problem for us to react to. We have to break the cycle. And I think that's what this is all about. You deserve the truth, but big tech does not want you to hear it. So we built our own inspired platform on the inspiredchannel.com. To watch the full video and more, just click the link in the video description or the pinned comment.